Karen from ediblewildfood.com. You're looking at Caprinus atramentaria, aka inky caps. These are so easy to identify, perhaps not so much at this stage of growth, but I'll show you what they look like later on in the day. Because when they do mature throughout the day, they actually become inky caps that look like black ink. These do grow in very wet conditions. And these are growing in my straw bale garden. And I'll show you more of that in a little bit. But right now, I've, what I find really, really intriguing, look at how tiny these are. These are super tiny. But what I find really intriguing about these is that the same moisture that gives them life will take their life. The inky caps digest themselves through hydrolytic enzymes. And these are tiny biologic machines that use water to break down molecules. Got a few over here. You can hear the morning dove, hopefully, in the background. This is about 7.30 on a Sunday morning. Check out these here. Very super tiny. Now, even though these are considered edible, I use these for absolutely nothing. And you'll see why later on in the day when I show you how these progress. Even though these are nutrient-dense mushrooms, these, as far as I see it, are survival food. That's it. I've never worked with them, and I really don't have a desire to either. And you'll see why later in the day when I show you how these look. Let me see if I can hold this steady. There you go. So, as I mentioned, this is 7.30 on a Sunday morning, and I'll come back out later in the day to show you how these progress. And inky caps are notorious in terms of not being able to be stored long term. And, and if you do forge these and want to cook with them right away, like these actually I could put into um, an omelet this morning, but I don't want to. I want to show you how they grow. But one thing is for sure about these never ever think about consuming them if you've had alcohol 48 hours prior to or after consuming them you could end up hospitalized okay so let me just show you a little bit more about what i'm doing here so for those of you who have been following my videos you know that i've been doing a straw bale garden at my friend Vanessa's. I'm doing two straw bales myself in my front yard. I have beans, marigolds to keep the bugs away, tomato, basil. I have basil growing out of the sides. Here's some garden sorrel. Tons of the miniature sunflowers. I have peppers. This is a hot sauce garden. Lots of jalapenos and other goodies. I have rue, lavender, cat mint. These are the daylilies, daisies. St. John's wort, which hasn't come out yet. I have comfrey over there. Goldenrod. And I think that's a nope. I have the yellow variety of yarrow, Tegatia. 
So even though I have a very, very small front garden, you can see I have maximized it. I'll come back out in a little while to show you these guys. It's 11.30 a.m. now, and you can see there's a little bit of disintegration happening. And of course, the sun's going to help expedite that. There we go. Check that out. Absolutely incredible. All right. I'm just going to focus on those as opposed to the smaller ones. So... I'll come back out in a few more hours and you can see the changes in about another three to four hours. And now it's 4 p.m. Now it's 12 hours later, 7.30 p.m. This is what this one looks like. The others have totally dissolved. And now I'll pick this one so you can get a little bit of a peek at the gills there. Actually, what I'll do, hang on a second. There we go. The sun has actually cooked it a little. There's its gills. And there we go. Inky caps, also known as Tipler's Bane. Now, I also have to make a correction. When I was talking earlier today, I called this Caprinus atramentaria, and I made an error. It's actually Coprinopsis atramentaria. So I apologize for that. So here we go. Another video about edible mushrooms, only this one wasn't in the wild. This one was in my straw bale garden. So I want to thank you very much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. And if you're new to my channel, if you can do me the kindness and consider subscribing, be sure to hit the like button, the thumbs up, and the bell for future notification of any videos that I post. Thank you.